Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. Um, first off, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification icon below. Second, um, if you haven't entered the Bitcoin Fridays contest, should be a link popping up right above me, right up here. Uh, click that link, go and enter your BTC wallet address on that video in the comment section so you'll be entered to win. Um, we're going to be going over my NVIDIA rig today, a little bird's eye view, show you what's going on with that. Some more Tron news, something else I had to pick up for the new NVIDIA rig, and um, things of that nature. All right, guys, so stay tuned. I'll be right back in a bit. All right, so there's the new 1070 Ti sitting there, GeForce GTX. Here is the 1066 gig gigabyte. Let me see that a little better. Um, problem is this power supply right here is a 650 watt, and I need an 850 because the 650s only have three 8-pin um, power outlets to power these cards and risers. So right now, the Gigabyte 3 gig I have in my hand is not working because I need an 8-pin going into the power supply and a 6-pin up top. So, for now, this card's down, but um, we'll go and check out the results on this real quick if we can. I do have a 850 Platinum coming in that has six 8-pin um, power outs on the back, so that'll be able to power this 3 gig card, which then I will put up top here and get that all in and set up. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, so you saw the, um, the NVIDIA rig and my issue right now with that um, power supply. Like I said, I did order another one and that one's sitting right here and I'll show you this is the um, 850 watt Platinum EVGA Supernova power supply. And what I was referring to is the, see how there's uh, six 8-pin power outs right here, two CPUs, four VGAs. Well, on that 650 watt that I have now, it's only got three. So I'm not unable to power that 1063 gig. So I got this coming in. As you can see, should be here, I think it said Saturday. So once I get that in, I'll be able to put the 3 gig in and we'll be up and going. So that rig is right here. Uh, right now I'm just using the two cards. Looks like um, <coughs> GPU2, Equihash, 269 souls. That's the 1060 3 gig, 269 hashes, souls, same thing. And here's the 1070 Ti still on Lyra 2 Rev 2, 43 mega hash. Now I know for a fact that this card right here does about, I think it's about 27 mega hash on um, Lyra 2 Rev. So already that 1070 Ti is, what is that, 16 more mega hash right out of the box. So we can see what they're doing real quick. Let me hit stop. Mining. We'll do the CPU first. Yesterday it was doing 26 cents. Let's see what it's doing today. Also, there. this is a new version of NiceHash Miner 2.2.2.4. And it did add a new algorithm to it. I'll show you that in a sec. So let me see what this CPU is doing. 17 cents right now. It was all the way up to 26 yesterday. And it looks like it's going to sit at 17 cents. But that new algorithm, I'll show you this. Once I put this 1070 in yesterday, it happened to hop on that new algorithm. And this rig was doing 420 a day for a little bit at that time. So let's hit stop. Let's go back over here and I'll show you if I can. Let me turn it on. So if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's this new one. Lyra 2Z. It was on that yesterday, 
and I was getting over four dollars. So let's see what the 1060, I believe this is, is going to do right now. No, maybe that's a 1070. So the 1070 settling into about a dollar sixty-five, dollar sixty-four. Looks like it may sit right around there. On that, um, the newer algorithm that it was on yesterday, it was uh, about two dollars and five cents yesterday on that new algorithm by itself. So let's go. Yes, yeah, so the GPU one is the 1070 Ti, dollar sixty-four. Let's hit stop. Go back over here. Let's turn on the 1066 gig and start that. That'll probably be doing Aquahash. I think that's what it was doing before. And that's a dollar eight. It may drop down a little bit. Dollar three. So that 1070 Ti is 60 or so cents more a day for that. And it's doing, yeah, Equihash, 288 hashes, 289. So about 60 cents more a day for that 1070 Ti, at least. I know it's not the same, al same algorithm, but it obviously mines the most profitable one. So let's go turn them all back on. Get it going again. Let's see what it ends up. Goes back to where it was, 219. 265 so once I get that 3 gig card in that should pull anywhere from 80 to 90 cents so this should be anywhere from 350 to 360 for this rig which is good it'll means I'll pay out every little over every three days probably get one full payout um, once a week with it now so it's hitting 284 right now so let's disconnect, get out of there. Um, mining pool hub. What I'm doing now is just mining Ethereum still, and I'm converting it to Bitcoin right now. So if we pull up my sheet, you can see I've already got $2.44 worth of Bitcoin. Um, once this gets to 0 .002, it'll cash out and go to my wallet. And I think that's like... Anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars right now depends on the price of Bitcoin, and then I will put that number in there. I did Ethereum did cash out yesterday, like I figured it would, and I bought fifty three Cardano with it. So right now we're sitting at forty seven dollars eighty one cents so far this week. Once I finalize the numbers at ten o'clock tonight, we may get close to last week's total of fifty one oh one. I think. But we will have to see. Let me see what last week was. Yeah, 51, 51 last week. It'll be close. I think we may not reach it. You know, again, we might be down again, but that's only giving another 1%. The sum of good news is total value mined is now up to 410. So it looks like it actually might go up this week as opposed to the last two weeks in a row where it's gone down. Went down that week, went down that week. So. I'm hoping that we can stay up. We're up over $200 now. This week has been really kind of off because this rig, the AMD rig, was offline for probably a total of 12 hours during the week trying to figure out this thing. I probably should put this graphic in here now. One of these 560s is down right now. So that's costing me probably 15 or so dollars a month, I'm guessing. And now this 3 gig is down since yesterday. So if I can get this up, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that 560 working. I think I'll try that um, N.2 slot, and that's the last thing I'm going to try. Otherwise, I'm going to um, just save that for the next rig, which obviously would be another AMD rig. So once I get this power supply in, um, I'll take the other 650 watt platinum and I'll use that for the new rig, which probably will be down the road sometime in the future, probably not anytime soon. 
So I'm kind of hoping that M.2 slot works. All right, so some real quick Tron news. Um, Mainnet is launched. Um, seems to be going off without a hitch right now. I mean, I know it's early. Um, Tron Mainnet is awake. Our journey to independence begins. Stay tuned to the Twitter for the live stream conference in less than an hour. That was yesterday evening. Uh, many expected this mainnet launch to propel the price of Tron to an all-time high, but it, is did, but it has done quite the opposite. In the month of May, Tron has dropped nearly 40%. This week alone, Tron is down 15%, which sucks. Uh, while this is just the very beginning of what the project seeks to do, it seems investor confidence is not quite there. Most of the coins in the top 15 are making considerable gains on the markets today while Tron remains in the red. So, like they said, here we are in the markets. Everything is up. Everything is green. I got IOTA, Stellar, Cardano, all of those double-digit gains. So that's good. And there Tron is almost a cent down. Percent down, obviously. But everything else is pretty much green. Even got my Verge, if I can find it here real quick. How far have they dropped? Verge, that's even up almost 7%. So, Tron's down. What can you do? Still in the coins. Sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, guys, um, if anyone is interested, I'll leave the link to this down in the uh, first comment for this Platinum 850 Watt. Um, it's seventy dollars off right now. That is really cheap for a um, platinum power supply. Platinum power supply, eight hundred and fifty watt. So it's really a good deal. That's why I got it. I almost got a gold eight hundred and fifty watt for, I think it was one oh nine until I saw this and I jumped all over that. So, anyways, guys, um, like I said. There's still time to um, enter Bitcoin Fridays. That link should be coming up here, um, probably up over here. That video again, just click on that video, enter your BTC wallet address, and um, you'll be good to go. Spread the word too, it helps. Um, we're just hit 600 subscribers, so I got four more till I hit 1,000. Then I can. Uh, um, Submit for um, monetization of the channel, which would be good. And also, Bitcoin Friday price payout will go up again. So with that, guys, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Questions or comments, put them down below. I'd appreciate it. I try to get back to every one of them. Um, and with that, I will see you all tomorrow, and we'll pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. Thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. Bye.